in Sierra Leone census report clearly demonstrates that we have a bulging youth population. Effectively, over 30% of our 7.5 million people are in the ages of 18 to 35. This clearly indicates that this country has to be able to support the training of this large number of young people such that they can be able to contribute meaningfully to the job market of Sierra Leone. True to form, the government of, of, of His Excellency Brigadier Agitai Bilos Madabio focuses on human capital development. One could interpret that to, in, to indicate full educational exposure, health provision, so, social protection for the people, and food pro, pro, provision as well. If one focuses on education, His Excellency has now opened it into two ministries, the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary School Education and the Ministry of Technical and Higher Education. We are curious why technical is put, in fact, in before higher education. This is because of emphasis for TVET training. That is technical, vocational, education, and training. Starting from post-junior secondary school up to higher education institutions. Therefore, to be able to focus in that sector, the, 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 the policy frame has been done. Uh, a national qualification framework has also been done that ensures each discipline of choice who can be in a position to, to, to get students to move from one institution to the other, carry the same level of com competence. Specific subject options are being focused upon. Automobile maintenance or, or engineering is one. Um, a whole range of agricultural options is another. Cons considering our expansive coastline, fisheries has been chosen as another. Mining, which is the mainstay of Sierra Leone, is the next option. There has to be a geographical spread of institutions. There are 16 districts in the country. For now, 10 of these districts do have uh, a technical vocational institute of tertiary level in the district. There are several other technical vocational centers of lower level in all of these districts. It is now clear that for Sierra Leone to be, to be able to transform itself, whilst higher education is critical and key, but higher education has to go hand in hand with TV training. I thank you very much.